Good evening, everyone. I, I would really very much like to welcome you all to our uh, Centennial Celebration Weekend events starting tonight. Uh, it really is a, a wonderful uh, to see you all here, to see so many alumni from so many uh, different uh, uh, groups. Uh, particularly, uh, there are many of you I know, because I had seen you go through the program, and there are many of you I do not know, but I hope to get to know uh, as the uh, weekend uh, progresses. Uh, my name, I, I am Alan Hatton. I'm the Ralph Landau Professor of Chemical Engineering in the Chemical Engineering Department. But more germane to this uh, evening is that I am the uh, director of the David H. Koch School of Chemical Engineering Practice, a, a program with which you're all very well familiar. Um, I, I've been a director for the last uh, 27 years, and I'll come back to that shortly. Uh, you'll be hearing much from me tom uh, tomorrow, so I am going to ask in a few minutes, I am going to ask uh, our esteemed department head, Paula Hammond, and our chancellor, uh, Cynthia Barnard, to uh, address you and give you some comments. Uh, I, I took this assignment uh, a little while back. Uh, Jeff Tester was, uh, was the director at that time, and he uh, twisted my arm to be his successor. I had no idea what a... Um, what a, 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 the magnitude of the assignment. I had no idea how big an assignment it would be, and nor did I have any idea then that it would be something that would be a defining uh, part of my career here at MIT. It's been a wonderful trip. I've been here for 27 years on the program. That's 27 years. It was just supposed to have been a three-year appointment, but uh, I very much uh, enjoyed extending it. Um, as you know, the practice school is a special place and the students uh, come through this are, are special folk. Now they come into the program wide-eyed, uh, they get learn how to, um, uh, to articulate problems, they learn how to uh, address the issues that are placed in front of them, they come away from the mornings and late night brainstorming, they can identify the essence of the problems that are put before them, and they can coalesce as a group, which is a very important component of, this, of the program, is to help them learn how to do that. They hone their presentation skills, and uh, these experiences, as you're all well aware, are very transformational. And that is what makes the practice school such a special um, program. Our students leave the practice school uh, as better engineers, better thinkers, better writers, and uh, they amaze me at how creative and inventive they can be. And that's one of the things that makes uh, being at MIT such a special uh, a, a career move. Um, we have quite an amazing audience here tonight. We have folk back from 1950 all the way through to 2015. That's 65 years of practice school experiences to share, and I hope that we will have an opportunity to do that uh, this weekend. Um, some of you have figured out what you're doing. You've gone through with the illustrious careers. Others of you are still at the starting side and still trying to figure out what to do with your degrees. The fortunate thing about chemical engineering and about the practice school is that we can prepare you for any direction you want to go in the future. Um, well, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, my esteemed uh, department head, uh, Paula Hammond. Uh, Paula is a David H. Koch professor of chemical engineering. She's also an alumna of the department. She got her bachelor's degree in 1984. Uh, Despite the fact she did some work in my lab during that time, she still was able to graduate. She got a PhD in 1993 in chemical engineering, but she actually worked in the material science department in doing that. And she joined the faculty in 1995. In 2015, she was appointed the department head of the chemical engineering department, a, a, a task, a job that she took on with alacrity and with finesse, and she has done a marvelous job to date, and she will be able to give you some more indication of where we are as a department. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's wonderful to see you, Course 10, Practice School, 66 years of accomplishment. I'm very happy to be here today. And uh, I'm going to try and give you a, a few words uh, just to give some context to how special this event is. First, just to, I wanted to thank Alan for that warm introduction. A few short words about me. Uh, when I was here at MIT, class of 84, I did my Europe's 
with Alan Hatton, and then later with Charlie Cooney. And most importantly, when I came back for my PhD, I took 1040 with Jeff Tester. All right, so my research itself focuses on nanomaterials and delivery of material systems and drugs uh, to cancer at the Koch Institute of Integrative Cancer Research, as well as wound healing, a number of other applications. But I wanted to take a minute to point out some of the other faculty members, I believe, who are in the audience. A little back to see all the way, difficult to see all the way back there. Uh, but let's see if we can uh, see the faculty members. They can wave. Clark Colton, back here. If you find Clark, grab him. <laughs> Pull him away from the bar and get him over. OK. Larry Evans, do we see Larry Evans? Ah, there you are, Larry. Excellent. Bill Green. There's Bill. All right. Howard Herzog. Howard, thank you. Klaus Jensen. Klaus, are you here? He may be in the back. Barry Johnston. Cloud Lupus. There you are, Cloud. Yuri Roman. Ken Smith. Ken. George Stephanopoulos. And of course, Jeff Tester. Jeff, are you here? Well, <laughs> wonderful to have you here. All right, everyone. Since we have a room full of chemical engineering alumni here, I also want to say a few words about the state of the department today. The good news is that the department is thriving. After many years of struggling with insufficient and outdated laboratories, in the last decade, Kimmy has expanded our labs into buildings E17, E18, and E19 on the fifth floor we call that Chemical Engineering East, all right? So if you're walking around campus and you see that old candy factory, walk inside, go up to the fifth floor, see if you can take a peek. Along with that, we've uh, also occupied Building 56, our neighboring building. On the third and fourth floor, we have laboratories. And there are five of us faculty who exist in the Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research. You may want to walk into that building while you're here, walk along the gallery. You'll see a lot of displays that talk about the research in cancer that's being done there. Now, what's most important is that Building 66, how many of you, by show of hand, have memories of Building 66? All right. Our beautiful. <laughs> Our beautiful Building 66 has been modernized and renovated, and uh, this modernization has completely transformed the space. We're incredibly excited about it because it means that our faculty have beautiful facilities in which to do the incredible research that they do in the department, and our students are able to engage uh, with first-class facilities. So this is an important thing. Uh, that has happened in the department. We've also been undertaking an aggressive and strategic hiring process uh, to bring in the next generation of outstanding faculty in chemical engineering. Right now, almost one third of our faculty are junior faculty. And this is incredible. This is sort of a unique time for us. Uh, in January of this coming year, we'll have 10 junior faculty among 35. That's a significant fraction. So look for young faces. They may not be students when you're walking around <laughs> uh, in the department and checking things out. And many thanks to my predecessor, Klaus Jensen, for hiring a large amount of this cohort. This includes faculty members like Will Tisdell, who studies the movement of energy at the nanoscale within electronic materials, Hadley Sykes, She's designing paper-based immunoassays uh, for rapid disease diagnostics. Yuri, who is designing novel heterogeneous nanocatalysts that minimize the use of precious metals like platinum. And that's right, catalysis is still alive and it's incredibly important. And Brad Olson, who's working on biomimetic materials 
for better soldier defense, and active protein-based materials, among many others. Now, if you look in your program, you'll see that the department is having an open house tomorrow, so check that out, from 3 to 4.30 p.m. We'll be opening several of our labs to you so that you can see the results of our renovation efforts. Learn a little bit more about some of the research happening in Kimmy today and meet some of our great current students and postdocs. I hope that you'll take this opportunity to take a peek at the future of chemical engineering at MIT. It's a stellar department and I'm honored to have such wonderful colleagues. As Alan mentioned, I'm also an alumna of the department doing both my undergraduate and my PhD work here. He didn't mention that my trajectory to this point wasn't completely direct. There were four years when I was away from MIT, two of which were spent as a process engineer at Motorola and two at Georgia Tech Research Institute, which is essentially um, a contract research institute in Georgia Tech. Uh, this meant that I was able to ultimately uh, get exposed to the demands of industry. And some of the uh, difficulties in dealing with real world problems Doing that helped me to understand better uh, the working experience of being an engineer, and it challenged me to communicate with a wide variety of people within the organization. While I didn't stay at Motorola, this exposure helped me clarify what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. So I'm going to ask for a little bit more silence. Just a little bit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I got to be a professor just a little bit here. All right, it's, your silence is greatly, greatly appreciated because uh, uh, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of your experience. Similarly, you in this room tonight had a wide range of early experiences in industry through the practice school. Some of you measured neutron absorption in metals in an abandoned church outside of Elk Ridge. I imagine there are some of you in the room who have had the Oak Ridge experience. Some of you worked on decreasing cavitation during the production of rubber at Cabot Industries. You experienced cutting edge pharmaceutical development in food science, but also decades old and highly established methods of dye manufacturing. And of course, when we sent you to these stations, we knew that these weren't meant to determine your future careers. What we hoped was that in sending students to industry, you'd have an experience that would make you better problem solvers. Just as importantly, we also hope that experiencing problems in these different environments will point you toward the sort of problems that you might find satisfying in your own life's work. Whether those problems are in industry, law, finance, or the academy, this experience of hands-on practice has proven to be transformative for our students in the practice school. And I think there's much we can learn from the success of the program. In fact, my first year as department head, one of the first initiatives I'm undertaking is a review of our undergraduate curriculum with a particular focus on increasing opportunities for hands-on learning so that students will understand the role of industry and the role of application and what they're learning. Last spring, one of our faculty members, Brad Olson, designed a new course aimed specifically at freshmen. It's called Molecule Builders. And it challenges, it challenges freshmen to use their education uh, to create novel solutions to real world chemical engineering problems. Students actually get to go in and build something that has some meaning to them and allows them to connect it to applications that help people in the real world. We're also introducing a new seminar series for freshmen in which alumni come and talk about what they're doing in the real world so that freshmen, sophomores, juniors, they can understand more about what we do as chemical engineers. So, at 100 years, the flagship is still leading the way. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to celebrate with you all this weekend. The practice school is our trademark program because it allows us to take bright but unexperienced students and let them learn teamwork, engineering, ingenuity, and instinct, how to solve real world problems. It provides graduates with a unique confidence in addressing tough and complex problems and gives them the ability to communicate their ideas and convince others of their engineering concepts. As always at MIT, it's about learning how to solve problems, 
We're incredibly proud to have provided this unique experience to so many amazing engineers in this room, working in every way, both within engineering and many fields beyond. Now, I'd like to announce our last speaker, our chancellor, Cynthia Barnhart. Chancellor Barnhart is a professor in civil and environmental engineering. She's also an alum. She got her PhD from the department in 1988. Her role as chancellor um, has, gives her oversight of the graduate and undergraduate education here at MIT, student life, student services, and other areas that impact the MIT student experience. Together with the provost, she is one of the Institute's two most senior academic officers. I'm grateful to Cindy Bernhardt, our chancellor, for making time to join us tonight to talk about the practice school in the context of MIT. So let's give her a big hand and then a silent opportunity to talk to you. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, everyone. So the first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to be really quick because I know you want to socialize and get back to um, talking with your old friends. Paula, thank you so much. Um, and Alan, I want to take a moment to thank and cr congratulate you uh, for your vision, for your service, for your stewardship of this program over the last 27 years. Thank you for successfully creating new relationships with corporate partners and guiding more than 900 students through their experiences in the real world. What a wonderful legacy. And welcome to all of you. So many alumni from all over the world, all here to celebrate the practice school's remarkable past and what I am sure will be an equally remarkable future. I'm really pleased to be here to celebrate such a major milestone. So clearly the practice school was a visionary idea, one that has stood the test of time, most likely because it is the embodiment of MIT's men's at Manus motto. It's not only our motto, it's really our way of life. We believe in learning through practice because gaining hands-on experience sets students up for success. It ignites their passions, hones their skills, and unlocks essential understanding that is a springboard to innovation and discovery. This is exactly what the Department of Chemical Engineering and the Practice School have been doing for a century. This program may be one of MIT's oldest, but interestingly, it's a model that has perhaps never been more relevant or significant to our community or to our world as, because, as today our faculty, our staff, and especially our students are about making the world a better place. So in this room, there are brilliant engineers, researchers, entrepreneurs, professors, and business leaders who are all living, breathing testaments to the lasting impact of MIT's Men's at Manus tradition. We are proud to call you alumni and proud of our practice school. Thank you for coming, and please enjoy the weekend of well-deserved festivities. And now I'll turn the podium back to Alan. Thank you, Paula and, and Cindy, for uh, some very um, for one wonderful uh, presentation. Sorry, <laughs> um, what I'd, I'd like to say um, is it's really wonderful to have everybody here for this uh, fine event. The centennial is an important component of the of the practice school. It's really wonderful that we've been through a, a hundred years of the program. And what I really want to do now is just ask you to please get together, enjoy your time socializing, uh, getting to know everyone, meeting friends again, making new friends, and just enjoy the weekend. We'll see you tomorrow morning at, uh, at the Marriott. Thank you.